advertisements are now providing the chance for them to enhance their skills like directors who make in a very short span time a very meaningful message that is the main purpose of the advertisements many of the companies today rely in advertisements to make their products to reach to the lakhs and millions of people they also take the famous personalities as brand ambassadors and they pay huge amounts for them so the advertisement sector is also as becoming a very good sources of income especially for the brand ambassador people who are very famous in the society so like this they also provide service sector and they also have very good income sources for them and when we move on to the outsourcing nowadays it has become a fashion or a trend of many large companies who are taking outsourcing helps for example earlier they used to recruit security guards for every company but today none of the large companies recruit security staff they call to an outsourcing agency which in turn will recruit the security staff and deploy them which company requires them at that place and in the meanwhile the company pays to the other recruiting company because they need not pay any payrolls for the health pensions or the provident funds of the security who are working they just pay a fixed consolidated amount for them which is in turn reducing a very huge amount for the company in turn and it is bringing in the profitable lines this has become the outsourcing has become a very hot debate in us in the previous years when they have decided that they are going to stop the outsourcing to india so later they have stopped on the initiative so like this outsourcing also helps to reduce the companies the amount of money it was spent now moving on to the other things as the many industries are getting closed like textile industries and the other chemical industries as because of the lack of the input because of the government policies which are existing earlier these all has brought the changes and lack of jobs so obviously when there are lack of jobs they try to look out to the other alternative jobs and this service sector has become a key other option for many of the people those who don't have job opportunities we have one example of a rickshaw puller called asim asim is a rickshaw puller who play the rickshaw and do, do daily day time and he earns rupees 250 per day and sleeps at night at the on the roads and he says that his life is not guaranteed that daily he earns rupees 250 depending on the day because of the competition from the other rickshaw pullers he may get one day 100 rupees the other day 200 rupees so his life is not guaranteed his life is also full of risk and this kind of people will also have health issues and there is no guarantee for his health or there is no pension plan for him or there are no provisional benefits which are provided when he retires and he is also having the problem of that he don't own any of the rickshaw he just ply on rickshaw which is taken for rent so he has to pay the rent he has to look after his family he has to earn his livelihood this is the miserable condition of the unemployed people in india now moving on to the it jobs as many of you have dreamed and have a goal of getting a software job in a very big company or the it jobs but these it jobs today earn a lot of amounts they entirely change the entire outlook and face of the families a family which is suffering with poverty or just above poverty line could easily become into a well settled family they can buy a house they can own a car their family who can benefit everything here we have an example when a student when a person gets a government job this software job he earlier he used to have when he was in college he used to own only two pairs of clothes and very few jeans and t-shirts but after he joined this it job where he don't even know how many shirts he own today and he don't even know how many jeans or how many kinds of varieties of branded shirts he buy them he spend the money randomly his family earlier used to struggle to make his brother and sister get educated which was now done in a very smooth manner and in a very high prestigious schools and his family started to buy properties these all are the positive sides of the it jobs so but the actual real fact is there are a lot of points which are 
causing stress for the people in the IT sectors especially. Recently an interview was conducted with the IT people especially working in the software industries. They openly revealed that except the financial growth in the IT sector they are not satisfied with the any other conditions which are existing in the IT sector because it is like working in a concrete jungle where they don't even have time to spend with the friends, neighbors or any of them to open out themselves. And when we see at the villagers or when we were earlier in the villages or in any other kind of professions, we can have a circle of friends who have a social life, who can break up at some point of time and discuss openly with some of his friends. But here in the IT sector where you are completely bound, time bound job and you need to work for long hours if necessary for the days together and you need to look after your financial growth as well as you need to complete the task in the given period of time which is becoming a larger burden on the people those who are working on them and it is causing many of the health problems especially for the IT people and and they also have the shifts of the workers like for the morning shift evening shift and the night shift so when the people are getting accustomed to morning shift immediately they change them to afternoon shift when they are getting cha change their body adjusted to afternoon shift then they will be changed to night shift by the time they get adjusted to night shift again they will be changed to day shift so this kind of changing of the shifts also is bringing a lot of impact on the health of the professionals of the software people so please be aware of all these things and there is a lot of stress in the IT jobs yes you can earn huge amounts of salaries more than five digit salaries but there are some negativities even in this field also. Now moving on to the major huge debate which was conducted till recently in most of the TV channels and affected many of the people's life is the foreign direct investments. What are these foreign direct investments? Foreign direct investments are in small known as FDIs. So a company which is earning the foreign products or which is belonging to another nation can enter into our land, can buy the products, can own the companies in our country. This is not new thing which is brought into India. It is existing in almost all the developed nations. So India has gave the channel or flexibility or opening in 2012 for the FDIs where it has certain restrictions. But there are arguments against the FDI that if FDI enters into India, the small farmers who are not able to compete with the large farmers right now would lose entire their ground and they become poor and poorer because the FDIs are the multinational companies which enter into India after they start to buy the products. Now the, the positive side of this is the people think that there are merits also for this because if the companies are entering into the land MNCs where earlier we used to have only the landlords or the money lenders forcing them to sell at a restricted price here we get the opportunity for the farmer to sell it at very large price where the wastage of the product will not be there the MNCs will invest on the product storage capacity and everything and they preserve the product carefully so there are merits that if a person is getting more chance of selling his product then obviously he can make more profit and if there is no loss of holding it for a long period of time where the company takes the responsibility of safeguarding this everything. These all were the merits of the FDIs. But when we move on to the demerits of the FDIs or the against arguments of the FDIs, see once they started to buy from the farmer, after a certain period of time, they buy it in large amounts and preserve it for a long time and they may force the small farmers or the other farmers to sell it at very less point of interest or less amount of money for them as per the dictates of the MNC. These are the two arguments which are raised in for and in against of the FDIs but FDIs are required in India to get the flow of the investments to develop the infrastructure because if government has initiated this one 10-20 years before of implementing in the storage implementations obviously this situation would have not turned up. So if the private people are working on this then let us hope they also will have certain rules and regulations and they will provide benefits and this brings good merits for our people in the farmers or small shopkeepers whomever it is 
they also have their scope of enhancement and moving on to the major disaster of the entire world and india in particular is the skilled labor the concept of skilled labor means the person who is trained perfectly to perform a job that skilled persons india is lacking of nearly 64 lakh skilled people yes india is lacking 64 lakh skilled people and in the health professionals india is lacking nearly 10 lakh health professionals these people especially when it comes to professionals when we concentrate about the doctors the density of doctors to the human beings or the people for every 10000 there are only 6 doctors available in india right now for 10000 population it is really a scary figure and when we take this to thailand it is only 0.3% when it takes to china it is 1.6% when you take for a developed countries like uk it is 5.4 and usa it is 5.5% even though there the figures are not so attractive but for india it is really very less and in a country like where india we have 121 crore people of population and the doctors are every year pass outs are only just 10000 people so imagine the condition of the scarcity of the doctors that is the reason why we have health deficiency in most of the people and many of them have lack of awareness towards their own health these are the major issues regarding the health and we also need dental assistants of the technologists who are nearly in 20 lakh number these figures are really troubling for the growth of the nation because until and unless you don't have skilled people to work and bring development for a nation you can't expect people to work for a developed nation and contribute the nation to develop further or move ahead further so this service sector to sum up plays a very vital role in the development of the nation at the same time many jobs many opportunities many industries better transportation facilities better educational facilities better health facilities better wide and huge roads have to be brought up and the investment in the infrastructure has to be builded up so that the other people also will get an opportunity to move from the agricultural sector the secondary sector towards the service sector and many of them will start to work towards the service sector where they can reach towards their highest point where they can earn a huge amount and get a meaningful income for their families so service sector mainly concentrates only on the services what we are providing for them not on production of any product or skill in making any other products it is only like doctors the grocery shop owners the consultants or accountants the transport workers all these fall under the category of the service sectors and this service sector nowadays has many new faces for it like the bpos the entertainment the software the advertisements the outsourcings then we also have the fdis entering inside and we have the discussion about the skilled and the unskilled labor all these come and fall under the category of the service activities of india so let's hope india will soon concentrate on developing the infrastructure better educational facilities better health facilities so that many hospitals are built many roads are built many industries are set up many hotels are set up many banks are set up many air force industries are set up these all defense workers defense personnel air force personnel banking personnel all these things software professionals doctors engineers all come under the category of the service sector where they can earn a very good livelihood and provide opportunity for lakhs and lakhs of people then only india can develop and automatically india would be in the position of the developed nations